Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm gonna show you how I create this purple eye look but before I go in with any eyeshadow I'm first gonna prep the eyelids and I'm using my all-time favorite eyeshadow primer which is the MAC Cosmetics Soft Ochre Paint Pot and to apply this I'm taking my Sigma Beauty P84 brush which is my favorite brush to apply this primer. I also have a special discount code for everything on Sigma Beauty their website which I have also always like linked down in the description bar. Now I'm applying some eyeshadow guards. Um, for those who are wondering, I get the question like really often where you can get them. Um, I will make sure to put a link in the description bar where you can get these. So in today's video, I'm playing with this new palette by Huda Beauty, which I'm really excited about. And when I saw their like promo on their Instagram where they showed this palette, I was like, oh wow, it looks so beautiful. And when I saw it in real life, it looked even more pretty, like the sparkly eyeshadows, they really stand out. So I couldn't wait with like filming as soon as possible. For today's video, I'm gonna do a purple eye look because purple is one of my favorite colors when it comes to eyeshadow. Um, I'm also planning to film or I have already filmed but I'm planning to upload a video on Sunday um, which I'll be using the same palette but I'm using the teal sparkly green color so this is a purple look and for my next video it's gonna be a blue sparkly teal kind of look so just so you know so first I went in with the color Libra which is like a soft purple pinkish shade and I'm using the shade hot mess which is more of a purple burgundy kind of color really pretty and I'm using a E25 brush by Sigma Beauty and I'm just kind of pressing it in the outer V but also blending it more towards my crease area I went in with the shade a few times to kind of build up the color payoff I wanted it to be as dark as possible right now you can see I applied a little bit more and it's looking already a little bit darker I wanted to just create some darkness in the outer V because I feel like I'm doing this in almost every look, but I really like when you have light colors in the inner corner and darker colors at the outer corner. And then I went back in with the color Libra again with a E40 brush from Sigma Beauty. And I'm just gonna blend along the crease to make sure that the pink color that I'm using right now and the darker shade Hot Mess are blended together and that there are no harsh lines. Now I'm going in with this color and this is more of a intense dark purple color, really pretty. Um, this is kind of optional, like if you want to do like a really quick look, you don't have to do this, but I wanted to make the outer V even darker. And um, this, when you like really quickly look at the palette, it might look like a black eyeshadow or like a really dark shade. But it's actually a dark purple, which I think is so pretty. I also used it for my upcoming video, which is going up on Sunday um, in combination with blue. And it looked really pretty. It's a really nice color. So I just did the same as with the color Hot Mess, just darkened up the outer V. And I'm taking this shade, which is like a really light, soft pink color. And just applying a tiny amount in my inner corner area, just to give it a little bit of a pop. I kind of thought that this shade would be a little bit lighter than... I don't know, I just had a sort of expectation of this shade, but when I swatched it on the back of my arm, it was so much more pink than I than I expected. Um, this palette also has a really light white kind of shimmer shade, which I'm gonna use at the end in the outer V on top of this shade. But I feel like I'm going in with a purple all over the eyelid after this step. And because of that, I don't wanna go in like straight in with the purple. I wanna create a ombre which is like from light to dark towards the outer V. So this is like the light color. Then now for the next step, I'm gonna take a purple color, which is going in the middle. And then you have the dark matte shades, which we used already in the outer V. So I'm taking my finger and I'm going in with this purple shade. Couldn't wait to use it because it looks so pretty in the palette. And you can see how it looks right now. And this is kind of the reason why I went in with that light pink color in the outer V area. Because you can now see like a sort of transition from pink to purple to dark. And that's kind of what I was going for. I felt like with this shade I had to go in several times to really make the eyeshadow stand out. Um, so I was a little bit disappointing. I felt like... I had to like put a lot of effort to make this eyeshadow really stand out. However, I know like a lot of people use wet brushes and I didn't try that. I'm not a huge fan of making my brush wet, um, but I'm sure if I would do that, it would be so much easier. So definitely if you want to get like most color payoff, definitely make your brush wet. 
So this is the whitish shim shimmery color that I was talking about, um, which I'm gonna apply in my inner corner as well. I wanted to use a little bit underneath the brow, but I quickly noticed that this is too glittery and I don't really like like really glittery eyeshadows underneath the brow. So I might as well could have skipped that. I didn't really like it. The glitters got stuck in my brow. So this is not the perfect shade to use underneath the brow. But I do have some shimmer going on right now and it's fine. I'm just going to keep it that way. Now I took a simple black pencil. I'm the, the one that I'm using is from Inglot. It's a soft coal pencil in black. And I'm just creating a super simple line above the lash line. Nothing precise. And then now I'm taking this dark purple this dark purple color again and I'm smudging it right above the pencil and on top of it to really smudge it together um, lately I'm just really into smudge liner looks it's so easy you don't have to work precise it gives you that really sultry seductive kind of vibe above the lash line I just really like it and it's so easy um, so if you're in a hurry but you do want to wear eyeliner but you're too lazy or you're not good at it just do something like this it's so easy but yet it makes your whole eye look like really just really sultry i don't know what it is about a smudge eyeliner but i just really like what it does to an eye look so i just kept smudging and smudging and then i felt like am i gonna keep it this way or am i going for a wing liner um, i used the eyeshadow guards which is gonna leave me with like a really sharp edge at the outer end so i felt like i'm kind of forced to go in with a smudged winged liner now since that's the shape that i went for um, if you are not using shadow shields you can just do like a simple smudge liner above the lash line but since i'm going for more of a winged shape today i am gonna create this smudge wing liner at the outer v as well so i just kept repeating that i went in with the um, dark purple color and i just added a little bit more and more also for the wing liner i also added a little bit of the black pencil because i wanted the upper lash line to be as smoky as the wing liner so now i'm removing the eyeshadow guards and now i'm going back in with the same black purpley intense color and now i'm taking a flat diviner brush and pressing it right underneath the lower lash line to make it dark as well now someone asked in one of my previous videos like why do you never pronounce the names of the eyeshadows you use in the palettes Sometimes I do, but sometimes I find the words kind of hard to explain. So I'm just like, let me just skip it. I always show like with my brush in which shade I'm dipping. And I always say what kind of color I'm using. So I just felt like, is it really necessarily for me? If I kind of doubt the word, I'm just not going to say it basically. I just found it really weird that she complained about that. But yeah, I feel like as long as I show exactly what color I'm using, it's fine I guess it's a little bit weird people can like be so weird sometimes complaining about not really important stuff but yeah it is what it is <laughs> so after doing this I went back in with this shade um, and I just took a really tiny pencil brush switching my brush back and forth just blending and blending um, I wanted to use the same shades as I used for the crease so everything kind of looks nice and complimentary then now I'm taking this light pinkish shade mixed with this white one and I'm gonna apply that in the inner corner area just to give it that extra pop. Um, I used that light color for underneath the brow but it didn't look good as you have all seen. It just looked really chalky but for the inner corner it looks really pretty. It just gives you that nice pop of color and I do really like it when I had like that slight sparkle going on in the inner corner but for my brows I don't really prefer to have like a lot of glitter. I do I do like shimmer or yeah shimmer but glitter for underneath the brows maybe if I do like a crazy look or something but for this look I just felt like that's not what I'm what I was going for. So now I'm taking this pencil from Urban Decay which is a really beautiful purple color which is perfect for this makeup look. Just applying it all the way in the lower is it the lower lash line? Yes it's the lower lash line. I feel like I'm all over the place guys today. I'm so sorry about that. So after doing this, I'm going to quickly curl my lashes. I don't always show this in my videos, but I always curl my lashes before I go in with mascara. And for my mascara, I'm using my all-time favorite mascara, which is the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit. Um, I've been using it for a year now, I guess, and I just really like it. And then for my lashes, I'm taking my own Anytude Lashes. Um, you can use my code Anne for some discount. I will put all the information in the description bar. This is the style Silly. Um, my sister is called Sil. So I wanted to kind of name this 
lash style silly to remind me of her i guess i have a lot of sisters and this is the only sister i named a lash style so she should feel really special <laughs> i just really like the name and it's kind of a coincidence that she's called sil let's be honest okay <laughs> this is the end of the video i really hope you all enjoyed and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye guys